Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. 
What's going on, everyone? It's Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews. Welcome to the Friday Night Live Stream. As always, I am here for you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun tonight, April 19th, 2024. Hard to believe this month is literally a little bit more than halfway done already. It's crazy how quickly time is going by. Any minute now, everyone's going to be jumping into the chat. Let me see you guys. Give me that thumbs up. Let me know you can hear me okay and see me okay. Buzz 7332 coming in clutch <laughs> right as we enter into the stream here. Super chat donation. Buzz, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Happy Friday night, everyone. Beautiful weekend weather-wise approaching. Yes, time to peep this out. Indeed, we've got two reviews coming tonight. And let me just give a little heart love to this one here. Buzz, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, for those of you guys who want to jump right to the reviews, you can find them down below in the description if you're watching this on the replay. For those of you catching it live, you will have to wait just a little bit, but I think you're going to dig what's going to happen tonight, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. Great to be here with you all. We've got a packed lobby right now. It is great to see everybody here. Let me jump up to the very top and uh, see who we've got here in the chat. We've got Erna785. Erna, thanks so much for jumping on. Sticker collecting's in the house. We've got Urza Ender. Let's see. Matt Dummett is in the house as well, too. There, Sticker, you were close to being one of the tops in there, but Erna, is, uh, she's pretty quick. <laughs> she's pretty quick. Uh, but great to see you guys in there. And again, Bus, thank you so much for that Super Chat donation in there as well, too, there. I guess just to get it right into Segue, uh, should you guys wish to be like Bus, of course, you'll find those ways to do that down below in the description box. Of course, you're going to be listed down below in the description once the replay goes live as well as official channel sponsors, as well as down below here as well, too. I'm saying as well a lot because <laughs> I hope you guys are well, too. Uh, but guys, should you want to do that there, you'll find those uh, those instructions there. And of course, at the bottom of your Super Chat window there's a little dollar sign that you can click on to make it easier for you uh, just keep in mind that youtube does take a little bit from you to do that of course um, but there are other ways of course down below as well so shout outs to you there and bus thank you so much for the love and support always one of my day ones um, and also one of my awesome patrons as well so thank you thank you thank you uh, great to see you guys uh, as always uh, let's see here Erna says she won't be able to watch the live streams for a while as starting working early shifts uh, usually asleep by now. No worries, Erna. I appreciate you. Of course, you're going to be on the the replays naturally will be available for you. Um, but if, should you wish to check in for a few minutes uh, and mortalize yourself in the chat as always, that'll be always welcome. Um, but our 80s music aficionado, it's all good. I appreciate you. You got to do what you got to do. I understand uh, completely. Uh, Drew's food reviews. What it do, my friend? Great to see you. Great to see you. I got to take a look at your uh, Crazy Puffs review that you put up for Little Caesars recently. Uh, going back to check out a few things. Friday night is my time to catch up on content. So I'll be watching a few things on uh, regular shows, naturally. Um, and then uh, catching up on a lot of the stuff that I tag on Watch Later for uh, for YouTube, of course, as well, too. Uh, Urza Ender's in the house. We've got Contrail, Claw and Go. What it do, what it do. Great to see you. Great to see you. Uh, let's see. Claw and Go. I know I've been super busy myself. This past week has been an avalanche of content for you guys trying to get caught up on a few things and a pivot video, which actually came out today uh, from Wingstop, uh, which was a lot of fun to do. Believe it or not, that was thrown together yesterday. Um, I just threw that together quickly for you guys there. So I think it came out OK. You guys let me know here in the chat. Give me the thumbs up if you saw that and if you liked it. Um, I wanted to make sure I got the hot box uh, out for you for 2024. Um, which is actually the third part um, of the series of those, I guess, since it's been out for three years now. They originally call it, I think, the Blazed and Glazed or Glazed and Blazed the first year, but then they renamed it Hotbox last year. So this is technically the second one. So that's where that's coming from there. I think I may have mentioned that in the video. Um, but I hope that you guys dug that. It was a lot of fun to put together. I love Wingstop. It's always a lovely situation uh, with that. Foodie86, what's going on? Great to see you. Great to see you. And yes, Erna, I remember the Stevie B song, Because I Love You. Absolutely. That was a slow jam. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, back then, good times. Uh, Michael Domeyer, what's going on? Great to see you. Great to see you as well. We've got the Week Greatness entering the chat. You already know what it is. Larry Nguyen's in effect as well as Kyle Broussard. Great to see you on top of that as well, too. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me shoot on down here. Inceptor Eyes, what's going on? Can't wait to talk ranch. I got to tell you, I had a lot of fun going into ranch <laughs> when I filmed that one. Uh, that was a good time for sure. Ed Keaton in the house. Shout outs to you there, Ed. Appreciate you being here as always. Uh, let's see. Have I heard of a place called Herb Burger? Herb Burger, I think that's called Larry. I haven't heard of that. Where is that? That does, sounds interesting. J. 
James Morrison, wow, pack lobby. Let's get this party started. Absolutely. It is definitely busy tonight. Shout outs to all of you guys. I appreciate you spending a little bit of your Friday night with me for the next hour here. Uh, I do appreciate it as always. Robert Giles in the house as well. Shout outs to you there, Robert. I appreciate you as well. Uh, great to see you. Great to see you. Klongo, can't wait for the lovely foodie feature tonight. There will be two. Uh, I think one of them you may know from last week, but there will be a surprise that I'll be saving for that one there. So uh, if you've seen the thumbnail, you know exactly what it is. And of course, you can jump right down to the chapter down below in the description. Like I always do with these replays, you'll find uh, so those, those quick links down below uh, in there as well. Inceptorize, chat is a beautiful situation. It is. We've got an amazing community of awesome peeps in the house. You already know, guys. You already know. I love chatting it up with you guys. Um, it means the world to me that you guys spend a little bit of your time. And as I'm so crazy busy and I'm doing so much, I love reading all your comments on the videos um, that I'm putting out there as well there. So I really want to use these live streams as a way to kind of give back to you guys um, as well, just so I want to be able to talk to you guys directly. Because if I had, if I would, can sit down and start answering, you know, all those comments with everything, I would never get anything done anymore. <laughs> so it's important for me to connect with you guys. And I love doing it because you guys all know at the end of the week is my time to kind of decompress after everything that's been going on. And uh, it gives me a chance to kind of uh, just connect with you guys. And I think it's a little bit more personable that way because um, I think it means a little bit more personally as well. Because as I'm looking at the camera, it means I'm looking at you. No matter where you may be, um, I love doing it. So it's definitely good times. Definitely good times. If you guys want to shout out where you're actually watching this from in the chat here, as always, I'd love to see it. I would love seeing where, where, this, where the stream actually reaches out to. Uh, that would be cool. Or is it Ender Peep? The pie from Jollibee looks like the pie from McDonald's. No, it does not because it is fried. Um, I got to tell you, Urza, that ube pie was pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, definitely filled from end to end. I had a lot of fun filming that video. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and of course, the two chicken sandwiches from Jollibee. Uh, one was definitely better than the other. I'll let you guys decide on what which one you think that is by checking out those videos. You can find out for sure. Uh, Deppy Slide, I finally got here early this time. Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. And as always, Bus Seven Three Three Two, always doing it big. Bus, are you on Main Street right now at Disney? Are you going to be? Uh, you're there currently. Hopefully, you're you're having a good evening wherever you are. And yes, we've got some amazing weather this weekend, which I'm so glad. I'm actually going to be relaxing this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be putting this stream replay out tomorrow. Um, and then on Sunday, I may hold Sunday's review for Monday. I haven't decided just yet, but I may just kind of let it ride. Uh, just a little bit because there is a lot of content doing very well um this past week so i think it would be time for me to get a little bit of sleep <laughs> and actually go from there um if you guys think i should just take the weekend and give you guys the replay and get a little bit of sleep give me like a sleeping emoji here in the chat let me know because i gotta tell you you can't tell by the bags under my eyes here with the lighting um but i've been pretty beat the last couple of weeks <laughs> that's for sure uh but let me know if that'll be okay with you guys um, there's always lots more content, obviously, coming this coming week. It, the machine never stops. There's always there's always stuff coming on there. And I'm always going to give you that quality goodness uh, as well. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff coming out that you're going to see here on the channel very soon. Um, I've been very, very busy. So good times. All right, let me shoot back up on over here and see what we've got. We've got a lot of comments. I'm trying to catch up here. Man, it is crazy how fast everything is moving here. So forgive me, guys. I'm going to try and go through as much as I can see here. Um, let's see here. Let me go down a little bit further. Ed Keaton, there we go. James Morrison, Pack Lobby. Okay, there we go. It's kind of kind of cleaning up just a little bit here now. Ed Keaton, great to see you. What's popping? It's been a crazy few weeks, and it's still continuing on. This is going to be kind of a really rough finish for the month for me because there's a lot planned. There's a lot that I'm filming, a lot that I have, a lot of footage, a lot of things that I'm putting together. On top of little extracurricular things that I'm working on, some exciting things right now um, that I can't wait to share with you guys very, very soon. And uh, I'll probably save that for towards the end of the month, maybe the beginning of May, uh, to let you know what's going on there. So a lot of good times. Clon, go loud and clear, Ian. Great to see you can hear me okay. Instead of the thumbs up your face, laugh my face. <laughs> there we go. We got my face going here. Shout outs to you there. Larry Nguyen, milk and cookies, chips and soda, according to uh, Drew's food reviews. We shall see. UFO, what's going on? Sorry I'm late. What's up, my man? Glad that you are here, my friend. Thank you so much, as well as being a channel member, as always, too, there. All my amazing peeps here in the uh, in the chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, let's see here. Going on down. Larry Nguyen is saying $25. 
Let's see. Jeffrey, please review the new Wendy's Skunk Burger. Really? <laughs> or is it end there? I see the cast from the Family Guy from the 25th anniversary. Very nice. Very cool. Speaking of TV, guys, I just finished Fallout on Amazon. And man, that was an awesome series. Awesome show. I love the vibe. I love the feeling. It felt like the game. A few things were kind of changed here and there, but it was a very well done series. And that last episode was pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to season two. Spoiler alert, Amazon announced they were doing season two, which they really have to because it was done very, very well. So very, very nice on that one. Had a chance to see Godzilla Kong, the new empire, and it was a big cartoon. If you want my honest opinion, it was just OK uh, for what it was. It didn't seem like as epic as the first version, I guess, uh, for considering where it took place, which is fine. Uh, considering the first movie, but um, the kaiju fights were pretty awesome. I have to admit, they were pretty good. But the story was just okay. It's just all right. Spence went to Sip and Shop today. It was like arts and crafts show, but with beer and wine. Didn't drink as I was on call for work, uh, but got some gourmet pretzels. Very nice. Can never go wrong with gourmet pretzel. Any type of soft pretzel, a cheese sauce, like a beer cheese, uh, honey mustard or regular mustard, any of that is always good. ScottRush.com, great to see you. Be sure to take some time and chill. Yes, I'm telling you, it is, it's been very rough <laughs> this last week, but a lot of really awesome content um, putting together for you guys. And I knew all that schedule, how that was going to go with the exception of Wingstop uh, when I saw that there a little late. And I'm like, okay, I can push that. Um, so I threw that video together yesterday and I think it came out okay. So I mean, hopefully you guys like it um, as I'm getting further on down over here right now. Uh, let's see here. We have got Mars. What's going on in your new Wingstop video? Did you have to pivot something or whatever? It's like to make one episode of the rest of the couch. Actually, yes, it's, it usually pushes a video back. Whatever I'm going to be putting out today usually gets pushed. And that's the one that'll either be out either on Sunday or, or Monday, depending upon how that goes. And that's how I, uh, I usually work that. Um, I usually have about two or three videos ahead. So I usually have my stuff filmed. And then as I'm putting things together, I usually put multiple things at the same time. I work on one, I work on another, um, I come back to it and whatever's maybe closer, um, that's what I kind of focus on and go from there. But I'm always juggling a bunch of different things at one time. Um, it keeps the quality high and that way, whenever I release stuff, you don't notice anything as being like, like a quickie video or I'll usually say a quickie video and you may see a few, a few less cuts of some things in there as well. I'm trying to get into just doing it a little bit more uh, vloggy style where you're not seeing so many cuts during the eating portions anymore because I just figure a lot a lot of you guys want to meet you want to see that a little bit more from my knowledge anyway um, shout outs to you Mars I appreciate you as well as down below um, so I thought I'd make it a little bit more personable that way as well um, by having a little bit longer um, takes you know in between there as well too that way because a lot of people assume that I'm reading off a teleprompter which I am not <laughs> I appreciate that but uh, I am not uh, let's see here. Let me get, okay, we got everybody coming down here as well. I'm going to try and jump on down. Larry Nguyen back home from Vegas. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. I'm glad you are back. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, Tony Montana, thank you. I appreciate that information as well too there as well. Looks like that's the same info from before. Shout outs to you there with the pivoting. <laughs> and yes, the Friends episode, I remember that with the couch up the stairs. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Destructinator7 watching the, from the great state of Delaware. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Raymond is watching from, was that Unadia, Georgia? I hope I said that correctly. Larry, yes, Temple City, not that far away from Pasadena, right next door, actually, to me over here. Uh, Drew, it was a banging situation with that pie. Yes, the Ube goodness. You already know what it is. Robert Giles, I can't wait to watch the replay tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's the, uh, the designated time frame I'm going to be shooting for it. Scott Messer Schmidt, everyone else, please hit that like button down below. 68 watching, nine likes. I appreciate that. Hit that like button, guys. If you guys can see and hear me right now, let me know by hitting that thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And it looks like I've got a lot of people telling me that I'm allowed to sleep just a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Lots of good stuff coming for you guys this coming week. As always, I uh, like to keep you guys on your toes. Let's see, Mars, I'm right outside Alamogoria Province grounds. Not a lot of neighbors though. Very cool, very cool. Cybernetics, my friend Stefan is going through some rough times in his marriage, too much time at the store. Can you give him some advice? Whatever time you can you can spend with your loved one is is definitely time well spent so many, so, in so many words. So uh, if you're going through a rough time, it all comes down to communication. Just try and connect and look into each other's eyes and 
try and rekindle what may have been uh, maybe something past or something along those lines. But it's all about just communicating. You got to communicate. You got to talk. Um, if something is not right, you got to let it know. People are not mind readers and uh, people will understand or your significant other will understand. So um, there's rough patches for everyone. Nothing is ever easy. If it was so easy, um, I think everybody would be literally going. It'd be smooth sailing. There'd be no problems. But realistically, you're going to hit some bumpy road here and there. Um, things are not going to be taken the right way or misconstrued. So just communicate, communicate and talk. And by all means, never go to sleep angry. You always want to turn to your significant other and just tell them that you love them or just kind of end on a high note, so to speak. Take the higher road, uh, regardless of who may be wrong or whatever that situation is. At the end of the day, um, you know, you got to you got to look at it that way. That's person. That's personally for me to you guys, for me to you guys. Hopefully that gives you that that push to do that. But shout outs to you, Cybernetics. And I appreciate you letting me know that. Uh, definitely let Stefan know um, if you can. Destructing a seven peep, you need to sleep. It can't be 100 if you're running on empty. Yes, I know. Believe me. It's keeping me thin on top of what I, uh, people always asking me, how do you eat what you eat and not put on any weight? It's all about probably the schedule I keep as well as the moderation and balance of what I'm doing. So yes, <laughs> there's a combination of the two, I think, uh, at the same time. Klongo, yes, take the weekend to sleep. Yes, the grind don't stop. You already know, UFO. You already know. Grind to the bone. Yeah, it's gonna. That's why I'm always shifting in my chair right now. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say on that. Uh, absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Geki, I will let you abandon your post. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna catch up on some shows. We'll have to see there as well. Uh, Michael Domayer, yes, I appreciate that with the yawn too. There, Contrail, Ian, you need to take some time for yourself. Sometimes the content will always be there. But you got to take care of yourself first, homie. Yes, I agree. I agree. I'm addicted to what I do because I love putting content together. But I know sometimes I have to just kind of just chill, just relax. You know, once it comes out, it'll be it'll do what it does and uh, go from there. So, yes, I'm going to be uh, most likely doing that. Most likely doing that. Carl Broussard had the orange dreamsicle frosty from Wendy's. It was good. Yes, that is still one of the best ones by far. I think they really nailed um, the quality of a, of a classic dreamsicle in that as well too there and plus you're working with the base of the frosty which is the vanilla goodness it was it was really very good erna is off to bed good night matt to everyone it'll be a while before i'm here because of early work but hope all is well shout outs to you erna i appreciate you send messages on direct if you like there as well i appreciate you thank you so much for doing what you do and enlightening the chat and just being here with your presence it means a great deal so if you hopefully you saw this before you logged off homie hugs and uh, hearts out to you always you already know Ed Keaton, Ed Keaton, glad you enjoyed the ube fried pie from Jollibee. Yes, I did. It was very tasty. And plus, it's fried, so you know. Drew, Ian is excited for his sponsorship with Subway. <laughs> Shh, you're not supposed to say anything, Drew. Drew, we talked about this. <laughs> uh, let me see, going on down the line here as well. Drew, 50K review soon. Wait, well, we're working towards it. We're definitely working towards it. Uh, who is your favorite character in Fallout? Probably Lucy, probably the but the main girl, and then obviously Kyle McLaughlin playing her dad. I thought was uh, was pretty cool. Um, I think maybe overall, I'd probably have to say the ghoul. Um, I thought he was very well done. I mean, the way they did the nose and everything, and just everything about the appearance and just how frightening he looked, um, and his acting from uh, I think it's Walter Goggins. I think is who plays him. He was really fantastic, really fantastic. Destructinator, I would like to visit the Kong family in Hollow Earth. There you go. <laughs> they spent a lot of time in that in the new movie, I'll tell you that. What does 420 mean? Well, 420, aside from being April 20th, is the term for doing a little recreational something something at 420 in the afternoon. And that's all I'm going to say. But they run with that naturally and they can make it, quote unquote, the national holiday, I guess, for April 20th. So I'm not into that myself, but... I love partaking in all the uh, the branding and the fun stuff that they do whenever that comes around. So, of course, you, you see all the stuff with Snoop Dogg and Cheech and Chong, maybe, uh, you know, that type of thing. So it's all that fun stuff there. Deppy went to the Bill Oakley live show tonight and just learned he's a fellow fast food reviewer. You should get him on the live stream sometime. Very cool. Yes, yes, yes. Bill Oakley is a very cool dude. Very, very cool dude. I actually retweet a lot of the stuff that he puts out. Um, he is very cool. There's also, I think, Grub with Greg. 
um, is another one too there, um, which he was actually here in Monrovia, not that far from Pasadena um, a few days ago, um, asking about why the McDonald's sign has like that little line through it, like kind of like a seesaw uh, that's in there. He was asking people, what does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, let's see, James Morrison, how do I highlight a username in the chat? I would think if you if you highlight next to the name, and I think it may come up with a little menu for you, possibly. I see a few different things on mine, but it's not for highlighting, so to speak. I mean, if, if there's actually something for like a super chat, there's a way that that automatically gets color coded. So I don't know. Um, but try seeing if you can kind of like put your mouse cursor or if you're watching this on your mobile, maybe if you kind of like tap the name or something, there may be something that pops up there for you, James. Or maybe someone here in the chat um, can possibly help you um, as well. Ed Keaton, get some rest this weekend. You deserve it. Yeah, it's been a it's been a long week. I was looking at my schedule of everything in my little, um, I guess, my social media manager that I use. And there was like every single day there was something there, um, sometimes multiple, you know, naturally there and a lot of the replay stuff. There's just a lot of content um, this past uh, week there for sure. UFO, love the authentic new video style. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm digging it too, actually. And it actually makes the videos kind of flow, I think, just a little bit. I mean, I like the edits and the cuts, um, but I think I'm just going to kind of work on doing that just a little bit more because I think it's maybe a little bit more personable at the same time. And plus, you guys can see that, yes, I am actually going all the way through. It's not just all edit clips uh, with that too. So I'm glad you're digging it. I'm glad you're digging it. I appreciate the feedback. It's been pretty decent so far. In fact, the wing stop is the first one with the new dynamic style in the very beginning, I'm kind of getting back to showing a little bit of the other B-roll stuff in the very beginning like I used to do uh, to give you like a little bit more of a flash to kind of give you an idea of what's going to be coming up. So if you guys like that, give me the thumbs up here on the chat because I'd like to try and do that and expand it more. Also kind of increases watch time and gives you a little bit more of a preview of what you're going to see. So lots of fun stuff to look forward to. But I'm glad you're digging it, UFO. I'm glad you're digging it. I, I always I love seeing the way that you you write your name because... I'm into UFOs. I love all that stuff. And the fact that you have it phonetically spelled out is pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> it's very cool. Destructinator, if you could learn any skill instantly like Neo in the Matrix, what would you choose? I'd probably learn KFC's secret blend of herbs and spices. <laughs> wow. If I can learn any skill instantly. Um, you know what? I think I'd probably want to do like karate, kind of like Neo did in, uh, in that when they downloaded that into his... Uh, into his repertoire to learn how to fight like that. I think that would be pretty cool, <laughs> personally, as a skill. It would have to be something physical that way because I like exercise, I like to do stuff like that. So I would like to do, you know, kind of like something along those lines. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, that was uh, that was actually a very cool part of the Matrix, uh, for sure, classic stuff there. Um, let's see. Raymond Houston, bro, I've been here since 13 at least. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been a long, crazy ride. That is for sure. Drew, always working on a situation and editing. Always, 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 always. But I do like putting the extra time in on the videos that I think warrant it there. So if whenever you see a video that has a little few extra special effects, there are reasons for those things, not to overuse. Um, I used to be kind of crazier with that stuff in the past, and I think it was a little too distracting. Uh, for that, which personally, I, nowadays, I look back on it, I'm like, wow, I wish I kind of slowed that down or didn't do so much, boom, pow, that type of thing quickly there made it more and more impactful. Um, so yes, I, I definitely uh, I'm down with uh, down with that. But like I said, if it's warranted, so yes, Drew, you're all right, working on a situation and editing is kind of like my, my thing, there's not a time where my laptop is not really ever truly cold or off, <laughs> I'm always doing stuff. Uh, you already know. And you do the same thing because you're you're pretty busy yourself, Drew, at the same time. Uh, let's see. Inceptor Eyes. We need video game, television, movie, new reviews. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That'll be some things to talk about towards the end of the month because there is something that I'm actually involved with right now that's pretty exciting. So uh, I will let you know closer to that time. I hear you guys. Trust me. I hear you guys. Scott Messer should get made it for McDonald's caramel pie. Oh, I'm going to look into that for sure. I'm always down with the pies over at Mickey D's. What I'm not down for is the prices of things lately. And I know I keep ringing it to death or I'm beating it to death like a dead horse or I'm beating the horse to death, so to speak. Um, but it's crazy out here in Southern Cali. It is crazy. I really have to budget um, how I'm living my life lately because of things like that. So all of the donations that you guys are putting towards the channel, believe me, I so appreciate um, that completely because of it, it helps. It really, really does help 
uh, to do what I need to do. So I definitely want to continue that, um, you know, keeping the stuff going there. You'll always see that quality is up there. But man, those prices, I may have to just stop talking about that because it is what it is. Um, and usually nine times out of 10, I'm saying if it, at least it delivers the flavor. But yes, the price is crazy. It, it is, like I said, what it is. Tony Montana, oops, didn't mean to repost that. No worries. I kind of had a feeling. <laughs> Jackie Hero Food Review, shout outs to you. Hopefully your trip is going well and even posting some content. I'm going to be catching up on a few things. But shout outs to Jackie Hero Food Reviews. Guys, make sure you jump on over and say hello. Uh, Jackie's always doing it up over there. She has a lot of fun doing what she does, as does Drew Food Reviews. And any of you other peeps who may be kind of like in the background, not making yourself known, say hi here in the chat. Chances are there are a lot of peeps that watch you guys here as well. So uh, your boy included. So that would be nice to talk to some of you if you're just watching from the background peeping things out without letting us know you're here. That'd be cool. Uh, Kevlar Woodvest, peep you ever skateboard long time ago. I had a vision board a long time ago. Definitely. I did. I did when I was younger, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Tony Montana at Mars. Are you reposting my comments there? <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling when I saw that twice, I figured, okay, something's going on there. You already know. Clongo, Ian is always giving good advice. Ian, for the win, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Guys, we're coming up on uh, the first review very soon. I got to grab the goodies in just a second here. Russ Meyer, how did you get a peat mug? It is in my Teespring shop down below, actually. And chances are, if you're watching this on the replay, you're probably going to see it down below. If not, um, just link to it. You'll find it there. It's definitely there. And of course, you can use uh, peep, cap to, uh, peep Cap, and that's the code to give you 20% off, too, there. Actually, that was originally had an expiration date, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just make it as low as I can um, to keep it going as possible in terms of let's making it go like that way. So it's like an indefinite discount. I want to make sure you guys have. Um, but instead of just 10%, I'd rather do 20% uh, for you guys. But I dig it. I definitely dig it. I use it every single week. <laughs> I do enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Tony, you had the Jack in the Box fish sandwich for the second time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm actually going to be cooking some shrimp after the stream tonight, guys. I've got some linguine and uh, a regular shrimp. I actually defrosted. I've had it for a while in the freezer. So last night I took a package out. I'm basically going to be cooking up some shrimp and a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, um, and then putting that on some linguine. And I'm going to be enjoying that watching my shows. So I've had a very light day of eating and I I'm really kind of feeling hungry now, finally. So um, definitely. It's been, like I said, a lot of content um, this week. There's a lot going on. Uh, let's see. Note to self 92. Watch the Ube review with my sixth graders today at the end of the day. Cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's really awesome. Hopefully uh, you guys got something out of that there. It was very fun put together to put together. And it looked cool. I mean, that pie looked amazing. Uh, personally, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. Deppy, I need to get into the Fallout games more. Lately, I've been playing uh, American Truck Simulator, a very relaxing game. Yes, you know what? The, the show is making me want to get into Fallout. And like I said last week, I've never played a Fallout game, but I followed the series, the storylines and everything too. I just haven't invested into it. Um, but with Fallout 4, apparently they, there's a DLC upgrade for PS5 and Xbox Series X. I have a PS5, so that's really, that would be the one to uh, to get. But um, I'm very, very tempted to finally break down and give it a go. That or maybe Vegas uh, is pretty awesome as well. So um, that show really ignited it too there. So that's really a cool thing. And I think when they launched the show, um, I think it was either on Steam. It may have been online, but they were giving a discount off of all the Fallout games for a while. So uh, I may have to invest finally, but I'm right there with you, Deppy. I, I know what you're talking about for sure. Geki, he's still a man behind the terrifying visage. Yes, the ghoul. Yes, he is. They just wrapped up filming Terrifier 3. I saw that. It's going to be a christmas theme version of it. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to check that one out this fall season. Are you going to see it? Of course. Claw, you already know. Every time on Twitter, I'm always reposting from uh, Janine, the horror fan, I think her name is. She posts like all these little squares of movie clips of all my favorite movies and movies that I've seen and they're all the horror movie stuff. So take a look at my Twitter. Um, it's very simple. Add peep this out. You can find it. Um, and of course, it's down below, of course, and the first uh, pinned comment. You'll find all the details there. It's really cool. I would recommend you follow her because there's some really, really cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, Ian, let's see. Right before we get into the reviews, what's your favorite movie based on a video game? Mm, let's see. You know, I love Resident Evil. Um, I have all the Resident Evil games, but as much as I... 
Didn't like the uh, Mila Jovovich movies because they were more action-based stuff, which was fine. I mean, it had some of the, the shades of the games. The recent redo of Resident Evil, even though that really wasn't that great either, it felt more like the first game. Um, so I'd probably say maybe that because I thought they got it done pretty well. I thought they did pretty well with that there. But if I have to go into like a series, not necessarily a movie, um, The Last of Us on HBO was awesome. I, I thought they did a great job with that. I wish it was longer because there's so much more meat and content to the first game. Um, but what they did was great. And I, I thought it was very, very well done. So I would probably go that route for sure. All right. Let me see here, guys. I think it is time for me to grab some goodies and uh, get some stuff in here. Drew, what is this? You can use the dome at Wingstop as a storage container. You can put stuff in it. Yes, it's very cool, actually. They use the same containers, um, at least with the hot box, because of how long it is, um, to actually, it's Popeyes is the same, which was actually pretty cool. It's that same type of recyclable plastic uh, that's in there. Russ Meyer, do you have any pets? I actually take care of about three different cats uh, on my patio, and I've actually set up a little house. There's basically like a little bed in there. Um, so I take care of them. They're more or less the outdoor cats, but they, they, oh, they're always hanging out on my spot and I take care of them whenever it rains every night. I feed them at midnight, believe it or not, every night. Um, I've got mama peeps on the phone with me and I'm feeding them like, you know, food from my hand. I have treats to give them. Um, but 12 o'clock in the morning or not in the morning, in the afternoon, noontime, uh, when I'm home, I actually feed them regular food then. And then I give them the treats at night. So I have a lot of fun because it's very calming for me. I love animals. So um i love taking care of them they're awesome they're awesome and drew knows as well too there he's got a couple of cats he knows exactly what it is all right so guys i'm gonna grab the stuff here in just a second meow to what ian said you already know what it is christian <laughs> i just saw that on the screen here right now you guys are amazing all right let me grab the goodies because we got to get things going over here i can't wait to give these a shot for you this is going to be really fun i think and uh, i will be right back should you guys wish to um Hit the restroom, grab something to drink, grab something to eat. It's time to do that. I'm going to be about a, maybe about a minute to grab what I got to grab here. And uh, we will get started here. So I will see you very, very shortly. Don't go anywhere unless it's shortly away from where your camera or your screen, I should say, where you're watching this. I'll be right back. out reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, we are back. Any second now, this will be catching up. We'll wait for the chat to activate once again. And uh, we'll get this going over here. Let's see here. Let me shoot on down. Mitch website, what's going on? Peep this cat. Yes. <laughs> Dancing time, you already know. Whenever I put on my little uh, EDM music, you already know what it is. <laughs> Peep's Pet Sanctuary. Just as long as it's not Peep's Pet Cemetery. That's all I have to say to that one there. Uh, let's see here. Christian Hansen, Meow to what Ian said. Yes, I appreciate that. Elden Ring, I haven't played that either. That's pretty awesome too, though, Inceptor. The graphics look pretty amazing on that. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake from last year. Absolutely, I still have to pick that up. I haven't done it just yet. 
Um, but I do plan on doing that very soon. I'm kind of waiting for that one to drop because I finished that game before and I know I want to play it again, naturally with the uh, with the updated goodies. Uh, but I have to wait, hold off on that just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's see here going on down. It looks like it's finally catching up. There we go. And yes, this is technically uh, 420 Eve, right? So some of you guys may be having a little bit of extracurricular fun doing what you do later on tonight, even into the midnight hour. Who knows what's going to be? But officially at 420 on 420 is probably the ultimate time, so to speak, right? <laughs> For all that there. Uh, so let's see here. Larry Nguyen, we do a food review called Topps Burger. I've actually, I do the breakfast burritos uh, every so often there on Walnut. I know exactly where that is, my friend. That's not far from me at all. Uh, let's see. Deppy Slide, Pete, before you get into the review, can I get a birthday shout out for my friend Donnie? Is it Donnie Mil Milichik or Milichik? I'll just say just Donnie in the beginning over there. Let's do it real quick before we jump into this here. This is actually going to help because it's going to be leading me into what I'm going to be doing, which will be perfect timing, and I'll tell you why. So without further ado, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Donnie. Happy birthday to you. From E and K to you, <laughs> so to speak. Shout outs to you there. I appreciate you, Donnie. Health, happiness, and success is always, like I say, in that order. And uh, it'll be a nice little segue into what we're going to get into real quick because this is a nice little jump from last week that we talked about. And being that I'm kind of parched to begin with, even though I'm drinking my water that's over here, we're going to get into some Baja Point Break Punch. From Mountain Dew. So you guys all remember the one I did last week. And yes, it was a mango lemonade that it says on the label. It didn't really taste like mango per se to me. There was a lot of stuff going on with that one. This one here, it says it's a blast of natural and artificial tropical punch flavors. So Mountain Dew goodness here. Now you can't fade the original Mountain Dew. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Mountain Dew, Diet Zero, um, any of those naturally. The original Mountain Dew, I don't really drink too much because it's crazy sugary naturally. So I always opt for the Zero or Diet. Uh, but with this one, as you can see, the bottle, 280 calories with this one, Tropical Punch, and how many grams of sugar? Let's see, 74. It's got one more than last week's version <laughs> for the Mango Lemonade variant uh, for that one there. But this one is looking pretty good, guys. And again, Mountain Dew really knows how to do their labels. If you take a closer look there, take a look at that. It looks like I think we've got like a guppy or a shark up on top over there, one of the critters from the ocean. It's got the classic Baja Blast goodness. This is a Baja uh, an Baja Versary, I guess they're calling it the 20th anniversary of Baja, uh, Baja Blast. So as you can see right there, there it is, 20th Baja Versary, which is pretty cool. Collect the coins and get Baja gear. If you want to scan that, feel free. You guys can. I'll bring that up over here. If you guys want to use your phone and pause that, you can actually scan it right there. If you're catching that on the replay. But I am digging the labeling here. They know how to do it right when it comes to the marketing, and I, I really love it. There's really no other soda company that does it as good as Mountain Dew as far as I'm concerned. Everything else is more of the classic vintage look, Pepsi, Coke, um, unless it's those you know, those co-creations that they do. Once in a while, I like to put those videos together as well. But this one is looking pretty banging. So I'm very excited to give this a go. I thought about doing this last week with the other one, but I figured let's just make this stretch out just a little bit here and see how this goes. So. Let me see. Wow. That instantly fruitiness all in the air with the pop on that one there. But guys, this looks pretty nice. So I love the fact it's obviously all artificial. <laughs> Everything about this here right now. Um, but yes, again, the label looks amazing. The color of it looks amazing. Um, and just overall, this is just a nice little representation of, uh, of good summertime goodness coming your way uh, for Mountain Dew. Every year they do it up around this time and it just feels like, okay, summer's on the way. We're going to have a good time at the beach. We're going down to the lake, um, whatever we're going to do. Let's see exactly how like, amazingly refreshing this is going to be. It's the Baja Point Break Punch from Mountain Dew. Let's peep this out. It's not bad. Very artificial fruit punch tasting situation. I'm getting a Hawaiian punch vibe with this, actually. Let's keep going in. Yeah, I'm getting Hawaiian punch. This tastes like a cherry-like Hawaiian punch. And I like Hawaiian punch. <laughs> so, yeah, this is actually pretty nice, guys. This is pretty nice. I think mixing this with any 
um, quote unquote adult beverage would be pretty good. And just so you guys know, Mountain Dew back in the day was originally marketed as like an enhancement for alcoholic beverages and stuff like that. But it tasted so good on its own that they started putting it out by itself. And then years later, PepsiCo, which who actually who owns them now, they bought it and they basically wider distribution. And it's become the cult classic that it is today, the way that it's made, what's in it. Um, but believe it or not, that's when you see a lot of alcoholic drinks that have Mountain Dew by mixing it. It was meant to be like that back in the day. So the fact that they have it now carbonated the way that it is, it's a cult classic. Like I said, it is what it is. But with these new versions of it, while you can fade the original, I love the attempts. If you guys love the attempts of Mountain Dew, give me a happy face here in the chat right now. Let me see you guys agree with that because I'm digging the fact that this really tastes like Hawaiian punch to me. It's very nicely done. And again, Hawaiian punch is just that. It's got the fruity flavors. It's Hawaiian punch, right? This seems like another version of it. Um, it is sweet, but nothing crazy at the same time. Um, contains 0% juice. It says very, very prominently in the top of the label here. I'm not expecting this to have any juice in it naturally. This is all artificial, but it's tasty. Let's keep going in. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I think I like this just a little bit more than the, uh, the lemonade variant from last week. This is still very tasty though. But again, I like Hawaiian Punch and uh, this is really doing it for me right now. Let me go for one more sip and then we'll wrap this little part of the review with the rating coming up next. But while I'm going in on that, drop some comments down below if you're watching this on the replay or even right now live. Let me know what your favorite version of Mountain Dew is. If it's not the OG, if it's not the diet, if it's not the zero, is there one particular one that you think trumps everything else? Let me know what that is over here in the chat. I'd love to know. And of course, on the replay, drop it down below. But let's go for one more and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Yeah, that is good. That is good. I'm going to go 9 out of 10 on this one. And I'm probably going to end up killing this one tonight. I have a feeling. As I'm catching up on my shows, watching my stuff, I will definitely be enjoying uh, a little Mountain Dew Point Break Punch. Uh, pretty nice. And again, celebrating 20 years of Baja Blast, guys. That's really crazy how it's been that long um, out there as well, too. Initially, more of the Taco Bell thing with the exclusive flavor. Now it's available that you can get it in stores. It's great to see that. Um, but this is a really nice variation, even though it tastes nothing like Mountain Dew. There is nothing about this as Mountain Dew. It's pretty tasty for what it is. So shout outs to uh, the peeps over in the marketing department for really doing it up nicely with the art. I love the label. It's very good. And uh, overall, a very nice flavor of Mountain Dew, an alternative to the OG. Um, I'm down with it. This is definitely a pretty bomb situation. And again, enhance any alcoholic type beverage with this stuff here. You're guaranteed to have a pretty good time. I have a feeling it's actually very well done. Um, that is very, very tasty. So very nice indeed with that. Very nice indeed. All right. So as usual, our chat has locked up uh, here as well. And it always happens around this time. So let me shoot on down to the bottom because you guys have the version that you guys are watching as well too there so uh very good zachary klein nine out of ten is how many dentists agree not to drink it <laughs> live wire okay baja blast baby all you already know what it is uh mint tinge from raymond houston live wire from eight the bones code red michael domayer nice code red's not bad i've had that before actually um what's the gamer fuel one there's one i think that says that may be just the name but there's something i saw them advertise um, it's like with Call of Duty, there was something underneath, I don't know, I can't think of what it is. It was, maybe it's just Gamer Fuel is like the title or, or just like what it's like they're classifying it as, but there was something about it. I think that was a little bit different. Um, there is for what that is. And if he suggests it is what it is, Ian K. Yes, you already know. <laughs> How about a nice Hawaiian punch with the boxing glove from Drew? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Oh, too much. Okay, let me shoot on down over here. Destructinator, I love the attempts. You cannot succeed if you don't try. That's right. That's how you learn. Let's see. I ate the bones. The Mountain Dew doesn't need any juice because Ian has so much already. There you go. <laughs> OG is the best. No questions asked from Claw. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm always down with the uh, classic Mountain Dew flavor. But I do believe it tastes a little bit better coming from the plastic bottle compared to the can, though. Um, as much as kind of like, you know, regular Coca-Cola, um, like say Mexican Cokes from the glass bottles. I love those. I love those. When I do food truck stuff or if I go to like Mexican restaurants and they serve those in the bottles, if I see that, I got to do that because 
that's really the best version of it there. Plus, it's the pure cane um, at the same time. When I was down in uh, Mexico and everything, we were down in a further area with the wifey years ago. Um, we actually had the Cokes that they actually they produced them there because they basically the sugar cane is pure cane from uh, from that area. And it was really just amazing. So much better than high fructose corn syrup uh, that we use in the States because it's so plentiful and cheap. Um, that's why they use that. Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning. Yes, definitely. That's an exclusive at uh, KFC. I would love to see that eventually do like a national release. You think they might do that at some point. Um, that would be pretty cool. But it looks like you guys are all over the place with your favorite flavors. But I think at the end of the day, the OG, I mean, when you're blindfolded, you know it when you taste it. I mean, that's that's really the thing. It's unmistakable um, with that as well. Unless you're getting like, say, the Shasta brands where they do like um, Thunder Mountain or something like that. It'll be like the off brand of sodas. Um, which are hilarious. And if you see some of the names of them um, at the same time, like Mr. Pibb is Dr. Pepper. That's not Shasta, it's something else. But um, they're different versions that you know what they're trying to be, but they're getting around the trademark situation uh, with that as well, too, that way. Uh, let's see here. Larry Nguyen, where is Carol Juju? She is on a trip in Italy at the moment, business trip uh, at the moment there. She'll be back on Monday. Uh, let's see here. Do the do from Drew. Yes, you already know what it is. Halo game fuel. Okay, yeah, and it was a Halo thing, or it was something with the games that they were doing back then. Uh, drink Mountain Dew's game fuel all day with Halo. Absolutely, very cool, very cool. Ben one one three. Your collection could be worth more than two thousand if the box still looks new. Everything I'm telling you, if you're talking about all my uh, Masters of the Universe goodies, I have a feeling <laughs> everything is is in there. It's all it's all sealed up. But uh, it's good stuff there. Let's see here. Ash Bill. Hi, how are you? Very good. Very good. Mountain Dew has no juice. In a, <laughs> and OJ has left the building. <laughs> oh, man. Drew. Drew, you're too much. Lance Wu, what's going on? Shout outs to you. Shout outs to you there. Great to see you. Great to see you. Hope you're doing all right. Going to have a great weekend. Uh, it's definitely going to be a beautiful weekend for sure. Uh, ben113, did everyone hear that KFC is testing Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning, but frozen like Taco Bell? Haven't heard that, Ben. That'd be pretty good to try. Very cool. James Morrison, Dr. Smooth? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. <laughs> but then again, if there's Doctor, and as long as it's not Pepper, you know what they're trying to do, right? You already know what it is. So, Drew, this week you will be correct. We're going to bust out some chips, and they're going to be something that I didn't think I was going to see. This is a last-minute thing when I saw this. I was like, man, I got to immediately, I snapped it up instantly uh, and got hooked up and grabbed it right, right away. So absolutely, we're going to be checking this out right now. Without further ado, let me show you guys Doritos Late Night. I finally found the sizzling cheeseburger. I never thought I would. I never thought I would. You know what the best part about doing this right now is, guys? This was actually at my local Target. I was picking up some cat food today, believe it or not. I ran in to go do that. And I saw this was there. I'm like, oh, instantly. Let me pick this up. When I scanned the barcode in the back, it wasn't coming up to be sold. It just says invalid or code not working, whatever it was in the screen. So I called over one of the guys to uh, help me with it. I said, look, man, I'm trying the gun. I'm trying the actual scanner. Um, it's not coming up. He says, oh, are these new? These look like they're new. I said, yeah, they're brand new. And I, I haven't seen them until now, which is kind of cool. He says, well, let me let me help you out real quick. So he puts in his code and ends up just putting in. I said, it's supposed to be four bucks because if two of them are eight dollars, I assumed it was three ninety nine or whatever. He rang it up as two ninety nine. So this bag was three dollars. So I am so grateful <laughs> for that. So this is actually, I think, just scoring just for that, because look how much they want for it by itself. If you can see that right there, was that six, six twenty nine, six twenty nine right there which is crazy. Uh, and I can already feel the air in here. So it looks like half the bag is chipped and the amount of ounces, nine ounces. So six bucks for nine ounces. No, these are always going to be on sale. But sizzling cheeseburger, guys, according to this in the back, late night flavors, one bold crunch, taste the night. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. I don't know how much I'd want to taste the night. Uh, personally, <laughs> if you're out partying or doing whatever you're doing, but let's just Oh, I'm smelling ketchup. I'm smelling pickle. I'm smelling cheese. That's wow. You guys remember the ketchup chips from Doritos that came out and then actually the cheesy goodness. 
and I'm smelling pickle with this, but this looks like standard Doritos. This is sizzling cheeseburger. Wow. That was a little bit of everything all at one time. Oh man, let's just let's just do this real fast here and let's just see. So let me try and bring this up just so you guys can see. It's not really dusted that you can see. I can kind of see it on my side. It looks like it's got like a little bit of like spices or something red. I wonder if that's the ketchup. I wonder if this is a variation of the ketchup chip because they did the ketchup and the mustard, which was banging. So I think that may be a little bit of a holdover uh, for this. But let's give this a shot, guys. Here we go. The sizzling cheeseburger late night from Doritos. Let's peep this out. Oh my God. Oh my God. This tastes like a fast food cheeseburger. Pickle ketchup cheese, a little bit of smoke. Holy crap. Really? Wow. Oh my God. Guys, it's the essence of a cheeseburger. That's nuts. Oh man. I'm gonna have to make a cheeseburger now and put some of these on top. Man. I gotta do a few of these. This is, oh no, I just dropped some. That is pretty amazing, the flavor with this. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, it was just two. Wow. Guys, that's pretty amazing. I think they're using a little bit of the ketchup carryover with this, but the cheese, it's got like a pickle essence and the smoke is like a beefy type of wholesomeness to it. Wow. That is a banging flavor. I got to find the other versions of this now. Oh my God. We're going to do just a few more. Hang on. I need a moment. <laughs> this is really, really good. The simulation on this is so good. Wow. And then the very end of it, it almost feels like the meat patty. Like, it's hard to explain, but it's got the essence of a cheeseburger. And as you're eating more and more of it naturally because of all this, the flavors and everything that it's got, it builds. I'm going to do maybe two or three more of these real quick. And the packaging is pretty cool too. I mean, look at that. It really stands out. It's got that shimmery vac metal look to it. It's really, really cool actually from Doritos. But guys, that's impressive. That really is. Late night flavors, one bold crunch. I don't know about taste the night, but that is crazy good. So, all right, let's do one more. Uh, we'll wrap up this part of the review with the rating coming up next naturally. But uh, a banging situation. If you guys see this at Target, it's on special right now, two for eight. Definitely give this a shot because it is worth it. This is a very tasty flavor. A lot closer to cheeseburger than I think I've had in a very long time from any chip claiming to be something like that. So this is really very well done. Very well done. Let's go for one more and we'll wrap this up. Mmm. I like this. All right, one more. One more. Wow. I still can't get over the flavor of that. Mmm. And the Doritos Fingers flavor too, on top of that. Wow, that is really good. That is really good. You know what's coming, right? You know what's coming rating wise for this? 10 out of 10 on this, guys. This is a pretty awesome flavor. Name brand doing a cheeseburger flavor that really stands out. Definitely run, do not walk. Hashtag unsponsored with this one. This is a pretty tasty flavor. Probably one of my favorite ones promo wise that they've done in a long time. And I like the ketchup and mustard ones. Um, but this, 
This is crazy delicious. So yeah, guys, the Doritos Late Night, I guess this new brand that they've got, Subline, we'll say, very, very tasty. Sizzling Cheeseburger, very, very nice. Very nice. So a lot of fun checking out the goodness with this one tonight, guys. I got to tell you, very, very tasty on that. Very tasty. It almost makes me really ready for ready for dinner right now. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let me shoot on down over here. Yep. We got cheeseburgers all over the place. Mostly char and cheese and grease from Drew. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Look at you guys with the emojis right over here. Night slider. The freaks come out at night. <laughs> Don't forget Kraken 2 from Tilance Wu. Let's see, less than half of a bag boo-boo situation. Yes, it, it is what it is. That's why I'm glad that was only $2.99. I'm glad that he hooked that up because that is that is three bucks well spent right there because that will get eaten pretty quickly, I'm thinking, pretty quickly. Ben113 accidentally found one at my local Subway. I still have one discontinued item from the pizza. Highly recommend you buy cheese because of the cost. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Lance Wu, how am I going to celebrate 420 tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe I'll get another hot box over at Wingstop. <laughs> we'll see. Because I think I said in the video, I love my uh, my Wingstop chicken sandwich meals, whatever I get from there. So um I don't do any of that stuff. I don't, you know, none of that. So I'm just going to, it's just another day for me. But April 26th, however, I've already started watching Aliens because of LV426. So Alien Day is April 26th. Be prepared for stuff all over social media. Um, I'm at three quarters of the way through the extended cut of Aliens, and I love that movie. So you guys already know that's where Stay Frosty comes from, uh, from in there as well, too. So, um, yes, it's really, uh, really pretty awesome. So I'm probably going to finish watching that because I'm up to the part where she goes to rescue Newt um, at the very end. So very, very well done there. Uh, Klon Go, the weather is getting pretty warm out here, too. What about you? Absolutely. It's been very, very uh, crispy the last few days. But it's nice with all the rain. I was able to wash my car the other day after all the rain every weekend that we've had. Um, and then basically, uh, this should last a little bit longer, which is nice. So uh, I'm excited about that. Definitely excited about that. So good times. Good times. Well, guys, let me take a quick moment to thank each and every one of you guys once again for spending a little bit of your uh, pre-420 Eve, I should say, uh, with me. I appreciate you guys hanging out uh, tonight for sure. And naturally, with what we took a look at tonight, um, with the goodness from Mountain Dew, I got to say this uh, point break punch, pretty lovely situation. But guys, the real star tonight, you already know, is these bad boys right here. The Doritos Late Night Sizzling Cheeseburger. And yes, Jackie, I got to tell you, as good as they sound, um, they were pretty amazing flavor wise. I would highly recommend that uh, by far, by far. Very, very tasty stuff. Um, but again, I wish you guys nothing but a lot of fun this weekend, whatever you're going to be doing, have a lot, a lot of fun doing it there. Um, if you guys may be going through anything or dealing with things, we all, we all are naturally always remember there's always going to be brighter days than not try to focus on those things that you can control and make every day as good as it can possibly be for you, um, as well. So this was always a lot of fun every single week. I love doing what I do for you guys. Keep in mind that you will be seeing this replay again. Saturday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's going to be the 20th on 420, ironically. <laughs> so for the late night goodies of the sizzling cheeseburger action, um, I'd recommend you find a bag if you can, because I think that's going to satisfy your munchies pretty nicely um, there as well, too, there. Um, you may see a brand new review on Sunday, but again, I may be just sleeping this weekend on. <laughs> so just in case, uh, it may be held until uh, Monday um, at the same time. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there. Uh, Mama Peeps is still kind of recovering from being a little under the weather, so I think she, she'll be hopefully better for the next show uh, that we'll do from there as well, too. And um, we'll just go from there. But a lot of content again coming up this week. Again, you're going to see a lot of really cool stuff uh, coming out from all your favorite spots um, and also some newer spots. Who knows? You're going to be seeing a lot of different things because we're only, what, there's 10 days or 12 days left in the month so far right now, which is pretty crazy to think of uh, already that we're at April 19th. So... I'm going to be here in the chat, guys, just for a little bit. So naturally, um, if you guys can, I'll try and answer as much as I can for you guys as this is going on. Um, anyone who's contributed to the channel, shout outs to you there, Destructinator7, Mars, Bus7332, uh, three awesome peeps in the community as well. And anyone who may have done anything outside of this, if it's like PayPal or something, I won't know until I check that. But of course, you guys will find your names down below 
in the description box as always. And again, I greatly appreciate the love and support. With the craziness as it is here in Southern Cali, like I said, all those donations do help to basically go right back into the channel, which is what they always do, uh, to build the content that you guys see every single week. Um, ad nauseum from me, I should say, over the last 10 years, ever since that I've begun my channel, every week there's been at least one, two, three plus videos more uh 10 years plus strong and going so thank you so much for all that you guys do to make the channel what it is i appreciate you guys being here my heart is always in the right place for each and every one of you guys and i really appreciate you guys again spending your time with me uh tonight so it means a great deal uh of course so let me see your last few things before we uh do something here let's see here we have got well, you guys are saying thank you. Klongo, I appreciate you. Thank you as well. Halfway to Halloween is May 2nd. Can't wait. I know I can't wait too. Into July, we're going to be putting up the Halloween stuff again. It's going to go by fast uh, for sure. Beautiful Hogman had the Papa Bites tonight. <laughs> Wet as gremlin hell. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. James Morrison, I'm in San Diego. My local Mickey D's employees all wear neon reflector vests and won't work for registers. Uh, you have to use the kiosk. There's no interaction anymore. That's wow. It's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, things are changing very abruptly, it seems like here. I think they're going to be probably laying off a lot of people and basically going more automated, but just keep a few people on staff for things because of the cost of the way things are going. I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, we'll see what we'll see what goes on. Tony Montana got a chance to try the new Smash Jack burger. I had fun reviewing that. Got it with two patties. Really enjoyed it myself. One of the best fast food burgers I've had. Yes, it actually is a very tasty burger. It is. Ed Keaton, you have a great weekend as well. Shout outs to you there. And I appreciate you digging the stream. You guys are awesome. You already know. Yes, May the 4th will be with you very soon, Destructinator. You already know. <laughs> Lance, I also pass on grass. Sobriety only, baby. There you go. There you go. I would definitely get your munchies on either way. Uh, like I said, you still want to have uh, the good stuff there. And uh, maybe watch Half Baked. I'll probably watch that, actually. That sounds like a fun movie. I haven't watched that in a long time. So uh, good times. Cheeseburgers and chill. I'll, I'm down with that as well. All right, you guys stay strong. Absolutely. Michael Jordan, do you exercise? How do you eat out a lot and stay fit? See, I get these questions a lot. And yes, I do a lot of exercising, a lot of cardio, and a lot of uh, kind of like you know calisthenic strength training. I have weights here at home. Ever since COVID, I haven't gone back to the gym normally there. I like just being outside doing my stuff um as well so i do i do get my stuff in not to worry uh, but again it's all moderation it's all moderation i never get combos i always review the main item unless it's actually part of a combo then i'll have a little bit of something to show uh, but usually it's just the main item that's usually the way that i do it uh yes i'll tell ed keaton i will definitely let her know to get well and uh, interceptor take uh get them war zone dubs yes there you go take a few days rest Remember, it's better to be a poor angel than a rich devil. There you go. I like that. I like that, Geki. That's very cool. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, last couple of things here. Uh, let's see. Dan, the My Little Pony and Sophia, the first fan. Have you reviewed Hot Shot Italiana from the folks over at Subway? No. No Subway reviews ever on my channel. Not yet. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Robert Grau is watching Half-Baked while eating Half-Baked Ben and Cherries while Half-Baked. There you go. That's the comment right there, Robert. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. Well, guys, again, I will be here. Matt Dummett, you take care as well, too. Michael Domayer, stay frosty. All of my amazing peeps here in the house and all my amazing peeps who may be watching from the background, not letting you mean, not letting me know and the crew know that you're here. Uh, I hope you're, uh, you're enjoying your weekend or your Friday night or soon-to-be weekend. Uh, again, whatever you do, have a blast doing it there. And uh, I will definitely catch you on the next stream. And shout outs to every single one of you guys again for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already. I'd greatly appreciate that. And um, let's round this one out over here. So with that, Contra, you stay frosty as well as I'm about to say it to you guys right now. Uh, it is what it is. Let me jump on over. And it is time for me to get uh, cooking on my shrimp situation right now. So shout outs and homie hugs to every single one of you guys. Thanks for the love and support and an amazing week of content of goodies for you. You have a lot to catch up on. If you haven't seen a lot of the goodies this week, take a look at the latest goodies from uh, Wingstop, especially there for the, uh, the hot box coming your way, which is only good up until Sunday. So make it count. Take a look at that review and uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought of it for sure. And uh, I will definitely catch you guys very, very soon. So with that... 
This is Ian K officially closing out the live stream for Friday, April 19th, 2024. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. And with that, peace. I'm out.